Hi guys, Daniel here, and I just got back from the HMMT competition this week, so therefore it's a good idea to do an HMMT problem. In this case, this is the geometry round for the individual problem number six. So let's first read the problem. In a convex quadrilateral ABCD, we have AB equals 15, BC equals 16, CD equals 12, DA equals 25, BD equals 20. So a bunch of random side links. Let M and uh, gamma denote the circumcenter and circumcircle of triangle ABD, which is depicted as below. Line CB meets uh, gamma again at F, line AF meets MC at G, and line GD meets gamma again at E. Determine the area of pentagon ABCDE. So first they give us a bunch of random side lengths and then tell us to intersect a bunch of these random side lengths with the circle and then create even more random sides to intersect with the circle. And then finally, tell us to find an area. So at first, as we see it right now, this problem seems pretty hard to solve because really we, when, we give, when we are only given the side lengths, that doesn't really give us much geometric properties other than bashing. But nevertheless, I will solve this in a very nice way. So let's see about how this will go out. So first off, when you look at the side lengths, you might give a second thought about if there really are random or not, because look, 15, 16, 12, 25, 20, they, these are all pretty nice sides. In fact, they all seem to be either have factors of 3, 4, or 5, which suggests to us that perhaps the triangles that we're looking at aren't so random in the first place. For example, let's look at triangle ABD, since we have to draw a circumcircle around it in the, anyways. AB equals 15. Uh, let's label all these. So AB equals 15. BD equals 20. And AD equals 25. Do these numbers look familiar? They should, because they're simply the 3, 4, 5 triangle multiplied by 5. So because of this fact, we know that angle ABD is in fact 90 degrees. Now, seeing that one of our triangles is really nice, let's take a look at the other triangle. We see that BC is 16, CD is 12, so triangle BCD is, has side lengths 12, 16, and 20. And again, this should feel really familiar because 12, 16, 20, well that's just the 3, 4, 5 triangle multiplied by 4. So in fact, we know that angle BCD is also 90 degrees. So now we have actually a bunch of uh, right triangles that are similar. There are three, four, five triangles, and thus we have a much easier geometric property for us to play around with, other than just side lengths. So now that we have these similar triangles, we might go ahead and chase some angles. Well, this angle is clearly the same as this angle by the similar triangles. So in fact, we know that we know that AD is parallel to BC because a uh, transversal forms equal angles with them. In addition, we see that uh, angle CDB is just the complement of angle of angle ADB. So in fact, we also know that angle ADC is equal to 90 degrees. And we can also see this from the fact that since AD is parallel with BC and angle BCD is 90 degrees, therefore angle ADC is also 90 degrees. So we know that angle ADC is 90 degrees. So now the issue becomes how do we find a nice way to represent point G and how do we find a nice way to represent point E. So what I'm going to do here is to take a leap of faith and extend some of the sides. Well, we see that AD uh, is pretty much uh, is intersected by AG, MG, and EG, which makes us think, what if we extend the other parallel side? For example, what if we extend BC to intersect at GE? And let's call this intersection uh, GH. Let's call it H. So what does this mean? Well, because AD is parallel, parallel with FH, and the fact that, uh, oh, of course, I forgot to mention that 
uh, M, they say, is the circumcircle of ABD, but since ABD is right triangle, it's simply the midpoint of AD. That's just another nice thing that we get from the first few synthetic observations of similar triangles. So M is the midpoint of AD, which means that AM is the same thing as MD. Well, what does that mean? Well, since AD is parallel with FH, then that means that in fact, FC is also the same as CH. Now, this is particularly nice because if we connect FD, then that means that since FC is equal to CH and the fact that angle FCD is 90 degrees, we know that FDH, this triangle, is in fact isosceles. We know this triangle is isosceles. And why is this nice? Well, this means that DH is simply the reflection of FD about, uh, about the line DC. So DH reflect to FD with respect to uh, CD. Now, why is this good? Well, First off, we see that the reflection of DH about the line CD is just the same thing as reflection above DH about MD because uh, MD is perpendicular to CD. So the reflection of a line will be the same in either line. So that means this thing is also with respect to, with respect to MD. So now we know that DH uh, reflects to DF with respect to MD, but DH is just equal to uh, EH or EG, I guess I can say. DH is just equal to EG. So since EG is the reflection of uh, FD with respect to MD, and because MD is part of the diameter of this circle, then this implies that finally E reflect to uh, F with respect to MD. So E is the reflection of F with, with respect to MD. So what this, act, what this actually means is that, well, since uh, BFDA is an isosceles trapezoid, we know that angle AFD is also 90 degrees. And, and the fact that FD is equal to 15 and uh, AF is equal to 20. And since E is the reflection of F about AD, we know that ED is 15 and EA is 20. So in fact, uh, ABDE turns out to be rectangle. And this helps us greatly because we want to determine the area of pentagon ABCD, but the area of pentagon ABCD, well, area ABCDE is just equal to the area ABDE plus the area of BCD. And what's the area of ABDE? Well, that's just 20 times 15. And what's the area of BCD? Well, that's just 12 times 16 over 2, which is just equal to, well, 20 times 15 is 10 times 30, which is 300, plus 12 times 16 is, is 12 times 8 divided by 2 is 96, which is finally 396. And we are done. All right, so this is the code that I actually submitted during the actual competition. So let's take a look at what I did here. Uh, this stuff right here is just a bunch